Now this is just a weird song. Like, I really think the American theme fits Stardust Speedway way better. But, uh, you know. I know earlier I said the Japanese theme I thought fit Stardust Speedway better. I should have clarified that I meant the uh, Bad Future. Yeah, I think the Bad Future for Japanese uh, Stardust Speedway fits it better than the American one. Because the regular theme is just fucking weird. Like, it reminds me, it makes me think of, like, some dudes in the club, like, saying random shit when they're drunk off their ass to, like, random stuff. And the past theme is... Well, I mean, do I really need to say anything? I mean, it literally does sound like, you know, like, LSD music. Actually, there's the past thing. I want to see if I can get that. What the hell did I just hit? Kind of sounds like that fucking Earthbound song when that damn chick comes up. She's like, what? Get fucked. When, uh, what's her name in Earthbound? The chick that sings with the, um, Runaway Five? Can't remember her name. There's a future thing, I need to get that. Oh wow, how the fuck did I miss two futures? Like, this part of it sounds neat. But then you get to the part where it's like, It's like, I like that, but I mean, you gotta admit, it is on crack. But that's what I'm saying, though. It's like that abstractness, I think, really does fit Sonic. That abstract kind of music really does fit it. But at the same time, I do have, like, you know, I don't know, it's like that tendency to, like, listen to that and be like, you know, what the hell is this? It's two mentalities fighting it out. A battle of wits of not giving a shit. A battle of wits about things that most people would not give a shit. Okay, I'm going to try and get into the future here so you guys can see the um, good future. It is really starting to lag. I guess because I've ran fraps so long. Also because there's all these lights and everything else going on. Now this sounds really neat to me, like this uh, soundtrack does. I actually listened to this a lot uh, as one of my favorite tracks in the game as a kid. This seems like it fits the level a lot more than the uh, good or bad versions. Also there's bunnies everywhere and I can't seem to get the hell out of this damn part. It's actually somewhat reminiscent of a uh, Sonic Crackers level, which was a demo that they used for um, Knuckles Chaotix. It's actually really reminiscent of that. I don't. I think that's probably just because they, you know, have a lot of levels in Sonic that are kind of like all city, you know, skyscraper type shit. No, you fucking asshole. Suck a big dick. So if it wasn't obvious, when you hit those signs, it flips you between being able to go on the foreground or the background. So that's the gimmick of this level, is like foreground or background type shit. And then it uh, trolls you with that kind of shit. It fucking trolls you. And does not give a shit. Make it up that damn... Motherfuck, wall. Oh, barely made it. I almost didn't even make it in the ring. Salutation, sir. Shabbity boop bop. Beedy beedy ba da ba boop bop. Salutations, it says. And here we are in something that looks like it's out of goddamn Russia's friggin' uh Well, I can't remember the year that album came out or that. You know, the year that's designated on that album, the whole Rush concept album thing, dingling, doodak, fucking can't remember that shit. But there's people right now, like, listening to this that are like, How could you not remember the name of that album? What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, here, you want me to really blow your mind? Until I played Rock Band, I never even heard a Rush song. Think about that shit. In fact, I never even heard a Who song until Rock Band. In fact, even more so, 
Probably a good 80% of the bands in Rock Band 1, I had never even heard any of their music until Rock Band. Yeah. But also take this into consideration. Prior to Rock Band, I currently listened to around... Like at the time of Rock Band coming out, Rock Band 1, I listened to a good probably seven or 800 different bands. And a very small amount of them were actually like, you know, indie or obscure or anything else like that. It's just that my music, the stuff that I like to listen to, isn't stuff you generally find in a rock band game. And I did like the majority of music that was in Rock Band 1. I mean, I, after I heard all that stuff, I really did like a lot of their music and I listened to it and all that stuff. But I'm just saying that just to, you know, blow people's minds because they always like shit bricks whenever I point that out. And it's like, you know, me, Mr. Rhythm Game Rock Band aficionado person, you know, has only heard like fucking maybe 10 of the songs that were in Rock Band uh, 1. Oh my god, got it. Yes! Yes, 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 oh yes, oh, I just made it. I got a Kool-Aid redstone. I'm gonna make some Kool-Aid now that I saw that shit. Mm-hmm, bet it tastes great. Salutation, sir. Shove it a boop bop. Beep 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 so now all I'm missing is whatever the hell color that uh, seventh one is. And that's why I have to go back and redo. And then I'll have all the time stones. And then I'll be like, Sonic is a badass motherfucker. That's what it'll say. No, it won't. But that'd be pretty neat if it did. Let's see. Those little sounds it makes too that... Uh, that er sound or whatever I came and I came and do it. That like bird sounding sound. Um, that is in Ristar a lot. That is in Ristar, which is a game that was actually made by Sonic Team or at least Sonic Team members. So every time I hear that, I always think of Ristar. Getting down. Sonic's a DJ now. I guess we're going to the future. Didn't mean to, but I guess we're going there. Oh, you guys can see the bad future now. You can hear the bad future music. Now, not paying attention to the um, I do think that this is a very fitting song for Stardust Speedway. Also, holy shit, Gigantic Robotnik face. Actually, Gigantic Robotnik body. God damn. This is also the song that you hear in Sonic Generations, by the way. Oh, I'm too far in, whatever. So the only zone left after this is Metallic Madness, so I better get my fucking uh, last time stone that or I'm fucked. 